Welcome to the Online Entrepreneur Experience podcast that details the ins and outs, the how to's, and the ups and downs of living a life of an online business owner. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Online Entrepreneur Experience. As always, I'm Deuces, and that is Mark Wilson, the Viking marketer. What's going on, guys? <laughs> I love it. I love it. So I wanted to talk about my day. Whew. I want to start with talking about my day today. Let's do it. I think people want to know. This is like, should we like throw up a breaking news sign or something like that? Breaking. <laughs> <laughs> so today was so uneventful for me. And that's why I want to talk about it. <laughs> this is going to be a snooze fest. <laughs> it's the intro, okay? <laughs> so today I had a ton of work lined up. I had so much stuff on my to-do list. Guess how much I got done. got that right big old goose egg <laughs> i woke up and i just had no motivation i didn't go to the gym today i didn't do any work i did a little bit of work very very little but i mean you helped me today you gave me some opinions inspiration yeah, yeah that's what i'm talking about yeah <laughs> <laughs> so the reason why I wanted to bring my day up is because on this podcast today, guys, I want to talk about how to be motivated when you just don't want to work, when you don't want to do anything, and how to find that motivation. But I want to do it a little different today. Instead of talking about one thing or a couple things and we just wrap back and forth, I'm going to say three of my top ways to get past your, your slump and find that motivation. And then Mark, I would like you to say your top three. That Can sounds good. That? that sounds good. I just, I just want to motivate them first. Is that okay? If I just motivate them? 100%. All right. So I want to motivate you guys to not just get motivated from all this motivational information that uh, we're about to drop on you guys, but I want to give you some motivation to stick to the end, because if you guys stick to the end, we're going to tell you guys, a way that you guys can win a hundred bucks. So uh, definitely stay tuned to the end so you guys can win that dollar dollar bills, yo! But uh, anyways, I know I'm interrupting as always. Uh, so <laughs> I'll kick it back to you. And that all sounds great to me, man. So with that, and with the hundred dollars that you could potentially win at the end of this video, like who doesn't want something for free, right? So. I want to say my first way that I use to try to stay motivated when you're just not in the mood to work. So what I do is I try to look at the tasks that I have on hand on my to-do list. And I try to think of them, at, instead of looking at them as hard work, look at them as an easy task that just needs a little attention. So the reason why this works for me. The lie to yourself is what you said. <laughs> yeah, you got to lie. You have to lie to yourself. That is key. <laughs> the reason why you want to tell yourself that in, in your own mind, that this task is not a hard task. It's an easy task that just needs a little attention is because that gets you started. Because once you start, you're already doing it and you're going to just continue doing it. And it's just like going to the gym. The mo getting the motivation to go is the hardest thing. So if you look at going to the gym, it's just an easy task, just needs a little attention. You go and you give it a little attention. Then while you're there, you're going to pump out a, an incredible workout. Big time. I mean, that, that's what I did this morning. I woke up so tired. I stayed in bed an extra 20 minutes just so I could watch some TikTok, you know, real, <laughs> real motivated. But yeah. I got myself to the gym and I had the best chest workout that I've had in a, in a minute. Nice. Nice. So did you have to tell yourself that it's just an easy task and needed a little attention or were you just, you woke up on the motivated side of the bed? 
Well, I definitely did not wake up on the motivated side of the bed, but I didn't tell myself it was going to be easy. I just told myself I had to go do it. I, I went more the discipline route. So, uh, oh, okay. but that's, I, I think that, that that's something that most people lack and I am very high on. So, uh, uh, <laughs> on my high horse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, so do you want to hear my other two or do you want to start with one of yours? I'm, I'm cool. You know what, bro, this is your show, man. I told you I was just a decoration here. I'm just a walking, uh, sitting <laughs> decoration. Here, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's hear Mark's first tip, and then I'll get into my second one here. All right. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. So my number one uh, tip to stay motivated is, um, and I actually got this from my wife, and then it got it really, really got hammered home for me by uh, a gentleman named Chet Holmes uh, in the Ultimate Sales Machine. Um, he has like a whole chapter on it, which is like, th that book is just legendary. If you guys don't know who Chad Holmes is, um, just he's, he's, he's so, so educated. He, he runs all of, uh, Tony Robbins, uh, sales. Like he's the head of Tony Robbins sales, wow. but he's, he's, he's such a smart dude. And the way that he talks about it, which took my wife's, uh, strategies to the next level was writing lists. And the way that he talks about it with writing lists is you have to, um, divide your list because most people when they write their list for the different tasks that they're about that they need to do um what they do is they just make a just a straight line down right and that what, what ends up happening is you just go and pick and choose from that uh that list and when you go and pick and choose from your list they're there you usually pick the easy things so you're like oh i'll just get out of the way the issue with that is you're actually not being motivated. You're actually creating bad habits to the shit that doesn't matter because it's just so easy to get it out of the way just so you can lie to yourself and say that you were actually productive and not actually be productive. Um, so the way that he talks about it is write two lists, the stuff that you, you, you want to get done and the stuff that you need to get done. Um, and when you do that, um, usually it's going to be some larger items. Some, some of these items may take like five hours to get done and that's cool, but you just, you write your different sides of the list and then you always start on the, the side of things that is your priority, the things that need to get done. So then you end up actually moving the envelope. Um, it's great. It's great. And I mean, he goes into even more detail. So, I mean, if you guys are readers, I would definitely strongly recommend you guys reading that book, but that's what I would recommend you guys starting off with is just making a to-do list for yourself It's splitting in the middle and actually staring at the stuff that does matter. Cause what happens there is not only are you focused on certain things, you actually have organized your brain and your thoughts and you know what needs to be done instead of like, Oh, what should I do next? What should I do next? Um, or what can I do? And it seems really overwhelming. Um, it just makes it a lot more simpler for you and you, and you can really focus in. That's awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm one of the people that just write a big list and I just try to knock it down top to bottom. That obviously doesn't work because I didn't do anything today. <laughs> so the tip that Mark gave, that's, that's actually a really good one. Really, really good. Of course I said it, man. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it came out of the mouth of the Viking marketer, <laughs> take it to the bank, baby. Yeah. Take it all the way. Bank. You can cash that. <laughs> <laughs> That's worth a hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you put it in the comments. <laughs> Only if you put it in the comments. Okay. So my second one is to create smaller bite-sized goals. So it's kind of along the same lines as what Mark just said. Because you're going to have smaller goals and bigger goals and or smaller things you need to get done that day and bigger things you need to get done that, that day. And by setting it apart, I actually have to backtrack. I have to. Just rewind? <laughs> <laughs> so it, it goes along the same lines as what Mark was saying. But it's a way you look at the tasks that need to get done and the stuff that needs to get done. If you've got a big, big project you need to get done, if you can break that up into smaller little bits, little bite sized pieces, it'll make it that bigger task seem a lot smaller and attainable and not so daunting. So then when you're sitting there looking at your list of need to get done, it doesn't look so like oh 
this is going to be painful. You just break that up into smaller little bits so that you can easily attain those small pieces. And then eventually you've got that big task done. And it's just a way to play with your mind yet again to, uh, to trick yourself into actually getting off the couch, putting your phone down and doing the task that needs to be done. I honestly, I, I love that. I'm, I'm going to break that down into a little bit more detail for you guys. Cause I think that like, that might be the best information that we give you guys in this whole podcast. So essentially, oh, and Renee said it. So that's where the hundred bucks. bombs, I, man, I really need to set up that bomb thing. <laughs> <laughs> you just dropped some bombs for you guys. Yeah. Um, but essentially, like, let's just say that, and I'm going to talk about me for a second. Um, I updated my Facebook profile uh, because we went on this amazing adventure of R Renee's wedding this last week. And I had a bunch of, oh, I know, look at that shiny thing, right? Um, <laughs> I had a bunch of new content and stuff. So I, I wanted to update uh, my profile and, and whatnot. Um, so that could be something that takes a while to do, like making cover photo, making a new profile pic, writing some script updating some links and stuff like that. Anyways, so there, there's a bunch to do there. Um, so what he's essentially saying is like, updating your profile could take you in multiple different directions. So what you need to do is essentially write the list down of all the things that you need to do on there and then just focus in on one of those things at a time. And then maybe today you did your cover photo, maybe tomorrow you do your profile pic, maybe the next day you update your links, maybe the day after that you update your bio and maybe the day after that you do your pin post, but at least you diversified it all up to digestibleness. So it's not like, hey, I don't know what I should do first. And that sounds like a lot of information, which sounds overwhelming. You're, as Renee was saying, you trick your mind into something that sounds a lot easier. And instead of having one mo monumental task, you're just doing a bunch of little tasks that get you to your big goal. Yeah, and I mean, the trick is here too, is like, if you're doing what Mark just said, don't get hung up on the little details either. Sometimes it's just best to just, less is more, put it out there, send it and, with that, if you do your profile pic and you're just like, well, you know, it looks good, putting it out there. And now you have a baseline to design your cover photo for the next day. So you don't need to try to do all at once and it becomes too cumbersome. So don't get hung up on the little details either. Yeah, it turns I, I, a big job into a bigger job if you're procrastinating because you're stuck on design or fonts or whatever. For sure. And if it looks good enough, a lot of times it's like, instead of like, it's a lot better to generally come back to things. So it's, it's best to just send it, put it out there and then you can always edit it later. It's not like it's now your permanent profile pic forever, guys. You guys yeah, can always update exactly. it if you, want to, uh, if you can figure something out that you want to update. So, um, okay, cool. So is it my turn? It is your turn. I'm, you know what? I'm actually really around all antsy. So, so far, like we have not overlapped each other and we were, we were thinking we we're going to say the same things. Like we, we, we didn't even uh, pre-script this. So we're not, we're not done yet. We're not done yet, bud. Um, so the next thing that I wanted to talk about was making a schedule. And one of the, the greatest parts about like making a schedule for yourself. And if you're not feeling motivated is it actually gives you time frames that you need to be doing tasks in, right? So even if like, maybe you fail your scheduling for the day, uh, it will really start pushing you to get momentum because you get the notification in your phone. Hey, I was supposed to start doing this task. Okay. I should start moving over there. Even though I know I was on TikTok, it's sitting on my phone. Let's get off TikTok and go do that. Um, it, it starts like giving you those little nudges and everything. So it's great if you know that you're having a hard time getting through your task or getting all your stuff done that you need to do in a day is actually go through a detail oriented um, uh, list of what your calendar is and if you guys want some help with that I did do a training on it that uh, has been posted on our um, on our channel that I'm sure is going to get put up somewhere um, on here probably up top in a card right now um, while I'm speaking about it uh, but uh, yeah go check that out if you want a little bit more detail on that but that's a massive thing to really help keep you on cue and moving when you're not feeling like moving I love that man Scheduling is so key when you are trying to run multiple businesses, you're, you're mentoring other people and you need to schedule time to come in here and do a podcast or training the group like what Mark and I do. It's, it's huge to keep yourself on track 
and motivated. Big time, man. Like I wasn't using a schedule properly before and I had these like sales calls and they'd be like an hour apart. And I would just like waste like an hour in between each one of these calls because I was like, oh, I don't really know what I want to start on. And I don't really want to start on anything because I'm just going to have to stop it anyways and get on this call. And then all of a sudden so much of my day was getting wasted when I could have just like pre-screened that. I didn't have to think about it. I just moved to my next task. Yeah, it's almost like you need a bigger task to work on in smaller pieces. <laughs> and then it just gets interrupted by doing a call. And then you just go back to the next small bit that you are working on to complete your bigger task. 100%. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so the last one is going to be another mind trick. It is to set a quit time. So the reason why you want to set a quit time is so that that big task, as long as you leave off in a good, easy spot, you can just quit to give yourself that time away from it. So then you can step back into it within an hour, the next day, whatever it is that you've put in your schedule to work on that task. But setting a quit time is, is going to give you that opportunity to not only just, all right, well, my quit time is four o'clock. It's two 30. Now that's only an hour and a half away. I can easily do an hour and a half of work. So that way you can just jump right into it, do an hour and a half of work, you know, quit times at four and it just makes a bigger task seem a lot smaller so that you actually do some work. Yeah, 100%. And I think it really gives you a goal that's in line with it, right? Like, hey, I know I'm going to be working on it for X amount of time. So I have this amount of time. If I don't get it done in this amount of time, that's cool. I know that I'm going to stop this. And I think that those things are super, super massive. I think people are oftentimes, and I know, especially if you are somebody that deals with like inbound messages and whatnot, mm -hmm. um, and have other stuff that's on your agenda that you need to do, you can really get caught up on just messaging people like all day. And all of a sudden it sucks away. Uh, from you doing anything else and uh, so really putting those time frames in like doing tasks like that that can be um, say reactionary task instead of um, uh, responsive tasks um, really really I think help you on, on that kind of pathway and being productive that way yeah I love that man and it's a huge thing being proactive versus reactive because if you are proactive, that means you've planned your day, you've made your schedule, you've got your to-do list, you're ready to crush it. But being reactive, you don't have that time to get into the right headspace to do the work. It's just, it happens. You're like, oh man, I got to do this. And now you're doing it and you don't have the right mindset to actually do the work to the best of your abilities. Yeah, big time, bro, big time. Okay, so uh, are you ready for my last one and do you think that it is one of yours let us know in the comment section if you guys think it's one of his Just are we stopping at five or are we getting to six <laughs> piece of value here before you even put in the comments i gotta tell you how similar we are <laughs> <laughs> so, so often so often I'll be telling him, oh, I'm doing this. And he, Mark just messages me back, man, I'm doing the exact same thing. Or we have this exact same mindset or mindset on the same concept. And as an example, when we were traveling to Lake Louise, Alberta for my wedding, we both have kids. We both have two children and we needed someone to watch our kids because the time frame was over. Uh, during the weekdays so someone had to stay at our house and take our kids to school for us for just a few days and mark who who was watching your kids my mother came to town to watch my children my amazing mother what a saint what a saint yeah my mom came and watched mine too um <laughs> once again another saint. <laughs> <laughs> what what time did you leave on sunday uh 10 10 a.m yeah 10 a.m yeah um, we left at 10 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> we met up halfway there to stop at a brewery because we were so close to each other. It was just nuts. So let us know if you think this last one is one of mine that I've already said. This is a big build up. We even had the same toothpaste, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I forgot about that one. <laughs> 
same toothpaste, same toothbrush. I thought that was what you're actually going to go into. And I was like, oh, no, he didn't actually say that. So it's, uh, it's funny. <laughs> I've seen dental care. Uh, <laughs> unplanned. Um, okay. Now that all that anticipation has been built, um, it isn't the same. It is not the same, <laughs> guys. <laughs> I know. Big let um, so my last one is a very, very simplistic one, and it goes to your intentionality. So you can go one or two, uh, uh, one or the other pathway. Um, and uh, it all goes towards energy. So a lot of times when you're unmotivated or lacking motivation, um, it, it's you're, you're lacking energy. Um, some energy management needs to be thrown in there. Uh, for me, that's generally what happens for me. Um, so I generally go to the course of making a decision. It's like 1.30 in the afternoon. I'm like, huh, what do I do here? I've got stuff I need to do. I need to do something because I don't want to do anything. So do I scroll on the monotony of social media, wasting time? Or do I do something about it? And generally I do. So the two vices that I, I, I use here, and it's basically... Um, the, uh, the options that anybody would really have and it's very simple to use it's either you take a nap and uh, a 15 minute power nap can do wonders there's tons of studies that have been put on uh, 15 minute power naps that uh, just really get you that energy that you need um, and then can get you refocused on um, on the task that you guys are doing because you get to step away from it and stop staring at something that you just couldn't really move at um, or you just go get some caffeine, fill yourself full of jittery caffeine, and then you bitter juice. Yourself. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, so those would be the my last one. Like, and I I notice for myself, I have this big crash in the middle of the day, and it's probably because I wake up at five a.m. and take caffeine and everything like that that early because I go to the gym. Um, so I generally have a midday crash and I need something to kind of pick me up. And those are the two ways that I kind of get myself motivated to push myself through the rest of the day. That's epic, man. I love that because, because you said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if, if this afternoon, yeah, it's funny because this afternoon I having a nap was the last thing on my mind. It seems counterintuitive that I need motivation to do work. So I'm going to go sleep. Yeah. It's so counterintuitive, but I can see the power behind it. Oh, uh, bro. And it's so funny because it is. And a lot of time it's just like, you know, people talk about it all the time. It's like, Oh, don't think about rest. You just need to push harder, work harder. And it's just like, <laughs> no, nah, man, like your body needs certain resources too, to be able to go through. Right. And just recharging it, which is sleeping, sleep, sleep and water, the two things that you need, your, your body needs to recharge. Um, it, it giving them that, guess what? You'll get more energy. Uh, but so many people are like, you're weak if you need that. So it's like, no, you're not weak. You're actually smart and tons yeah. of studies. Uh, it's just that old screw mm -hmm. mentality. And sometimes you have to do the opposite to get what you actually really, really want. Awesome. Yeah, it's work smarter, not harder. Yeah, exactly. I know everybody has heard that ever since pff, the boomers. The boomers. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have one last pro tip. Oh, a bonus? A pro bonus tip. tip. Huh. It is yeah. not to do with getting motivated. It's to do with if you are working hard, like what Mark was saying, and you're not taking your naps, and you're just feeling drained and burnt out and nothing's really working and you want to quit. How do you get past that? The reason why I want to bring this up is because a lot of people have been messaging me with this exact same scenario. I love it. And I think it's something that's super powerful that most people lose focus of. Yeah. So what I would recommend you do if you are at the point in your journey, whether that's a fitness journey, business, or relationship, or anything, if you feel like quitting, hold on for one more day. You don't have to quit today, quit tomorrow. And then work today. So that when tomorrow comes, you say the same thing. One more day. 
one more day. And then you'll never end up quitting. And then you'll actually succeed at everything you do. Love it. Boom. Boom. I mean, I think a lot of people not only just stayed around so they could hear all this amazing information that we just gave them, but I think they also want to know how could they win a hundred dollar dollar bills? Yo. (laughs) Well, if you put a comment on this video or in this podcast, if you're listening, we will choose at random one person to win a hundred dollar gift card. Was that for Amazon? Amazon gift card. And up until we get 2,500 subscribers. So as soon as the day that we get 2,500 subscribers, that is when we're going to draw one of your names. Amazing. So you can see we're getting pretty close. So if you have not already hit that bell notification, so you can help boost those numbers. And when you write a comment, you're already entered in for the draw for the hundred dollar Amazon gift card. Yeah. Get your free money. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in with us. We can't wait to see what you do with all this new motivation that you found. (laughs) What are you going to (laughs) do? Okay, guys. Thanks for tuning into the online entrepreneur experience. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any episodes that we're releasing and any of these amazing pieces of value that we're giving out. And if you could take the time out of your day and leave us a review, we'd be so grateful. We look forward to seeing you on that next episode.